today's DIY is coming to you because of Wong Wallace. I hope I said your name right. She asked me how to put chicken wire in pieces. And lucky for me, Zeb is really klutzy and he broke the glass for this piece. Because it was curved on top, just one piece would have probably been anywhere from $90 to $100. And likely he would have broken more because of the way it was put in. It was really difficult. So it was the perfect opportunity for me to show you how. We used hardware cloth. I like the nice symmetrical square shape. I thought it looked really fun in this kind of French hutch. But the concept is the same, whether you use it hardware cloth or chicken wire. So stay tuned and Zeb shows you how to fix his mistakes. The trouble I'm having with this hutch is that it's got this rubber strip here that holds the glass in and you have to staple it in. It doesn't just press in like a lot of hutches do. And when I'm stapling it, this has been my result. Even being very careful in keeping the staple gun a long ways away from the, the uh, glass. And you can see there, this one didn't actually break, it just split. I don't want to go buy a bunch of new glass and get it specialty cut to fit these edges and then just break it again with my staple gun because I have to staple these in. So the other strip, the rubber strip fit right in here along this ledge. Usually I would have just put some chicken wire in there. It's two feet wide so it would have worked. They do sell it in wider increments if you need more. Gives it a nice country look. But we're going to change it up. Luckily I only broke one side of the glass on the big piece. So I have this to use as a template for my other one. If I didn't I would have to hold it up to the opening where I want to put my hardware cloth. and then just trace it out and cut it. But since I have this, I'm gonna flatten it out here and I'll just use a Sharpie marker and go around where I need to cut it and then it'll fit right in. Once you start cutting it, I do recommend wearing gloves. These little edges will be really sharp once you start cutting it and they'll scratch your hands up pretty bad. Okay, so I've got it to the point where it'll lay flat and I've got my other piece of glass laying out on here and I'm just gonna trace where I need to cut along the edge of that glass. I've got a little bit of extra. I'm going to cut one square higher than what I actually need and leave it just a little bit wider, one square wider. That way I have something to staple to when I'm putting it back in the hutch. have a little pair of side cutters here and I'm going to start cutting along my line. You could also use a grinder to cut this out but I feel like I have a little more control with these side cutters and the grinder is really loud. Now that I have my piece cut out I'm just going to fit it in here and if everything is right, it should just slide right in. I'm going to put my first staple in. I've got half inch staples in here. You may have to adjust that depending on how thick your wood is that you're working with. I'm going to angle it up a little bit and you want to use safety glasses when you're doing this because they can shoot out at you. Now, it's got more than half an inch, but I'm a little nervous about them shooting out through the front, so I am going to go in at an angle. But that holds that nice and secure. Now I'm going to put one about every three to four inches on here. I periodically check just to make sure I haven't blown through the front with the staple gun because that's just going to cause you more work. Just make sure you're keeping your angles right. Now when you're doing this also you want to make sure that you're staying nice and flat because this stuff is flexible and will want to bend a little on you. You don't want to get like a ripple in there. But so far since uh, this is my first time using, first time using this particular product it's going in the same as the chicken wire. Same exact process. It's a little bit stiffer so it's harder to work with, but it's not too difficult. 
And that's how you put it in. Here's what it looks like finished in the hatch. You can do chicken wire the same way. This product here is called hardware cloth. Hey guys, hope you liked our chicken wire hardware cloth DIY video. Be sure to give us a thumbs up and ask us any questions you might have on the pieces you're working on. Be sure to subscribe to Jamie Ray Vintage for more DIY.